Hello, what's up everyone? This is Andrew from Figure Tomodachi with another Portrait of Pirates review. And today we have Portrait of Pirates crew here. I stumbled across this little guy while in China's International Festival and it caught me completely by surprise. And I'll explain as why is that at the end of the video. Now, uh, let's get started with the actual review. Oh, actually, first thing first, let me just show you this. Uh, this is the scale here, and you can see it's about uh, three pounds, two pounds here. And when we put this on here, uh, I'll put it up. See, it almost weighed one kilogram alone by itself. And this thing is very, very heavy. Now, let's open this little guy up. And while we're opening him up, let me just tell you guys this. Uh, I was searching on YouTube for another crew review video and I couldn't find a single one and I was completely surprised because there are so many of you guys out there who actually hasn't and nobody bothered to write a review about him so here we go we have him out of the box now you can see the box fairly well down here this is the box itself and uh, yeah let's open them up now and you can see the base here super spot belt duck unit I never knew I actually had that on there quite amusing and the base is really well done I mean it looks crystal clear no scratches whatsoever and it's part of the pirates quality and let's take the main thing out of the box now we have a wing accessory this is sort of the all hell headler and we have a extra town here and let's put this thing aside as well now this is our actual figure we have this cushion seating on the back of the duck and let's get this rid of this uh, the this is the Karoo's water bottle and put that aside and we have something else oh look at this this is almost almost like one of those things that prevents you from barking and it's got a nice little plastic covering the neck as well. I guess it's to prevent pain losses when you put this water bottle around his neck. Yep, looks good. And let's see what else do we have here. Uh, the base. So let's mount him on the base now. And there we go. There's Karoo. Now looking at the details, um, I can see it's really well done. Everything ranging from... The lines here, the hat on the top, and we have the eyes, and of course what's up next, uh, we have the mouse here, it's well done, and I think it can come off here, yep exactly, the bottom half can come off, and you can insert this open mouth section into here, and uh, yep, yeah. and the wing I believe, is it both sides, I think it's just the left side, yep the left side can come off. You have two holes here where these two are inserted into it and this one you can just insert it in I assume yep fits perfectly and this is Karoo's hello post or all hell handler and we have of course last one last thing we have here is the um, what is this this is the cushion the mount pad and it goes perfectly should I play like this actually no that was the correct post and yep and overall this is just absolutely stunning quality here and I'll explain to you once again at the end of the video as to why I think this is stunning I mean it's better than Portrait of Pirates Annual that came out recently it's better than well Portrait of Pirates Sailing Again Zorro that came out recently I mean the quality on those were just absolutely bonkers and this thing's got some real weight let's see how heavy it is by itself let's put it on here yeah, look at it. That. that is 600 gram by itself. And we have the two back here, really great detail on them as well. You can see the buckles here. Buckles here, and uh, yep, and the um, feathers on Karoo, great detail here as well. You can see them very clearly, each of these feathers. 
you have the lines here separating them and uh, what's up next no nope, that's pretty much it and yeah, actually let me see I think I can find someone to mount this let me see do I have anyone here that can actually mount this guy uh, let's try this out first uh, Luffy uh, Nightmare Luffy no it doesn't mount well and here we have Saber I guess oh actually it mounts perfect look at this guys this is freaking awesome we have Saber here mounted on crew isn't this awesome it's a combo yeah this looks pretty cool this is really awesome now of course uh, for the end of the video spoiler spoiler this is actually a bootleg I stumbled across it like I said in China's international festival and the guy told me they were retailing for 50 bucks and I immediately thought um, holy crap that's really good quality for 50 bucks but I didn't buy it right away I went to I knew that that if it's out there it's being mass produced so I went to some of the factories and I actually got to see them for myself so I bought one from the factory directly and let me tell you this is top notch quality I mean it does in no way look like a bullet there's no shiny part there's nothing wrong with it everything looks like the real one and just so you guys out there won't be buying the bullet for like ridiculous 500 bucks here's the clear way the easiest way to identify it is from the top of the beak the top half of the beak you can actually see a seam line here that separates the top half of the beak into two so it shows um, how it's compressed uh, with two plastic material into one and the real one the authentic one actually doesn't have this line here it's just one piece of material but for the bowleg one there's actually a seam line here on the top of the beak and this is the easiest way to identify the bowleg from the real one but aside from that they look identical in every other Aspect. I mean, even the box is a perfect replica of the original. And I just want to say, if you can't afford, you know, 500 bucks to buy a real one, hey, this might be a real good choice. That's why I bought it. And, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. But that's pretty much it about this review. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. We still don't have a single contestant for our contest. Just to show you guys the repainted Nami Portrait of Pirates I'm talking about perfect in every single aspect you gotta remember this is the repainted version it looks really cool like one of those um, Lawson, Luffy and Nami Strong World Nami it's very shiny here and the only flaw that this figure has this without box one I have is the top of the hair here we have a little bit of paint loss and on the shoulder here and you can see a little bit of paint smudges over here from the hair the color gone onto the shoulder and aside from that this figure is perfect so yeah, I don't know why nobody's um, participated yet, but uh, if you feel like you want this, go participate. Uh, who knows if we don't get enough more, uh, if we don't get enough contestant, like if we only get like three or four or just one after one month, maybe I'll just end it right there, and whoever enter will be the winner. And this pretty much sums it up for our review this time. I'll see you guys next time.